it's counting of the counters. Uh, Okay, here uh, we use, so uh, I, I guess uh, f folks who have who are already involved with uh, Hadoop definitely know about the counters. So uh, this is uh, another kind of design pattern where we use just the counters to accomplish things which otherwise you would actually would have uh, reducers and transferred a lot of uh, data across the network to get accomplished. Uh, so the benefit of using these counters is that everything happens entirely on the map side. No reducers or, or, or explicit code for summing is required. You don't have to do any summing yourself. So the framework takes care of that. Uh, you, you will define your own custom counters for these to work. Uh, and and it, it's, uh, uh, the Hadoop framework itself keeps track of those counters. There's a, there's a caveat to using these counters. That is, you you cannot have cannot be using too many counters uh, in your in your program because uh, it's it's being matched. For example, if you are talking about uh, MapReduce version one, so in those cases uh, the job tracker is responsible for uh, uh, keeping track of those counters, and it has got other jobs to perform. So if you if you uh, increase the number of counters to a lot, then uh, the performance of your whole system gets start starts to get affected. So you have to make sure that if you're using this this pattern, limit your counters to tens, uh, maybe 20, maybe 25, not more than that, uh, maximum 100. Uh, you actually, you should not be reaching those, those, those limits, but generally it should be somewhere around 20s or 30s, not more than that. Uh, one of the users could be how many times top 20 users posted to a stack cover for last month. Uh, so. Uh, uh, so, so the, you could use it for this purpose. So, so you know that there are 20 different users, so 20 different users for whom you actually want to figure out how many posts were there. So you will end up creating 20 different counters. And uh, uh, in your program, uh, uh, when, when, when in, in, in on, on the mapper side, whenever you find uh, that user, you increment that counter and rest of, rest of the things will actually be taken care of by the framework. This is the structure for uh, counting with the counters. So you start with the mapper here. All the uh, the tasks, which, whichever is, is to be performed, happens in the mapper only. There's no reducer here. So uh, incrementing counters A, B, and B over here, A and C over here, counter D and B over here. And then these actually go are, are tracked by the task tracker. And ultimately, these things uh, go to job tracker. And that's where you will see your output coming from, uh, back to the client from the job tracker. This is uh, the mapper which I just explained to you. And uh, the benefit is there's no combiner, no partitioner, no reducer. So you're saving a lot of effort on that side. And the thing to keep in mind is there's no output file as such written, but you need to have an output. So in terms of performance, uh, um, because most of the, the task is being taken care of by the framework, so the counters are generally very fast. Uh, you, and because you're not doing any network traffic here by transferring data to the reducer side, so from that perspective also, these, this, this pattern is, is very fast. So, so the, it's mostly on the number of map tasks being executed and the complexity of the mapper code. The use cases are quite self-explanatory. Count the number of records uh, for over a given time period. So, uh, for example, uh, in 24 hours, you want to count uh, uh, 
the hits to your website, for example, uh, then you could uh, use because uh, uh, here you will require 24 counters for doing that. Okay, and then the size is not increasing too much. But but for, but uh, if you if you remember the word counting problem, right? There there uh, you could not have used uh, the counters simply because uh, the the number of terms which you're dealing with over there is 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 much more larger. Uh, let's look at one of the examples uh, for counting the counters problem and uh, the data which we'll use for this is votes.xml again uh, part of the stack overflow data uh, so some of the fields in this is post ID vote type ID creation date and user ID and uh, we are going to create uh, counters three different varieties of vote ID type so uh, we will create counters in favorite, offensive, and spam. Okay, so so the program in the mapper is is very simple. What you do is so you read your records, and uh, if you if you see that uh, you have one of these uh, values in the vote ID type, then you increment the corresponding counter. Uh, Framework will do rest of the things for you. Let's see the code for this. So here it is, so I have uh, this counter. One second. Okay, so here, here is where you actually define your custom counter, which is called the votes counter, and it's got uh, three different values, favorite, offensive, and spam. And uh, depending on your record in the code over here, you increment these counters by one. Okay, when your program finishes, over here, so you have a code which is zero successful completion, then you visit each of these counters and print their values. That's that's what it is. Let me run this example. Give me a second.
Okay, so I'm running that code now for you.